Hello and welcome to DB Overland. Today is part two of our Cook City adventure. We had a fantastic trip yesterday. We went up to Goose Lake and talk about no man's land. That was absolutely phenomenal. So today we are planning on exploring more of the mining uh, area around here. There is tons of mines that we're gonna check out. Some old, actually some old towns too that are farther up this uh, pass that we're gonna check out. But it's gonna be an amazing venture today. We had an awesome uh, place to sleep last night. Got to celebrate a birthday, so it was good. But come along today and we'll have fun checking out these old mines. Always leave it cleaner than how it was when you found it. came from that side. It came down that mountain and then it came up this over to this side. And and because all the trees are pushed up. Remember all this this was where the tornado blew through? <laughs> this was avalanche. So yeah. Taken by an avalanche? I don't see any dirt through. It looks like the tree tipped over. This is uh this was avalanche. So it's always changing up here, that's for sure. <laughs> so we turned off the, the main uh, trail, uh, the main pass, and there's a mine over that direction that I think this road is gonna take us over to. So we're gonna go try it, you know, check it out. That's what we kinda had in mind 
thing today is just, you know, be open and free and just try everything out. So let's uh, let's see where this takes us. Ooh, we got a nice, got a water crossing coming up. Ooh. <laughs> All I can say is, wow, <laughs> this is so amazing. So I think, I think we'll start off with just kind of looking at the buildings down over here and the equipment down over here. And then we'll, uh, we'll go up and take a look at the other, other equipment that's up here. <clears throat> wow, it's like in perfect condition still. That's, that's amazing. See anything interesting in there, John? A bunkhouse right here? Yeah. A uh, miner's, miner's house. Yeah. Yeah. The snow, the snow load just collapsed it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Hi, girl. Yeah, I did, didn't it? <laughs> cool. You and your stick, kiddo. It pulls back everything and flings it. <laughs> This fell down, oh my gosh, this fell down during that uh, avalanche because look, that's sure. brand new trees that have been knocked over and knocked the building over. Oh my goodness, it came with the avalanche. Wow, this is, yeah, this is amazing. And there's still like rollers, belt rollers and, and stuff up there. Holy smokes. Oh. 
Yeah. Okay. That must have been quite the little crash when that baby came down. Oh yeah, she came down hard. Alright. Um, that one, John, right there was good, yeah. <laughs> Look at the bars that they use to hold it up. They're all tweaked. Oh, careful, Thomas. <laughs> wow. Yep, we did. Okay. I've never seen oh my gosh, why are you climbing up there? <laughs> okay. The size of the timbers and the structural integrity of them, like this has the whole fucking weight of the, and all it did was crack a little bit. But that's where the bell would dump stuff into this, the chute would dump into the hopper. Crazy. And then that's the bottom of the hopper. <laughs> wild, wild, wild. <laughs> wow. That's a cool one. Wow. Hey, I thought we told you not to come up here. I'm not up there. You're up here, buddy. I can't get in. Wow. It's so weird. You got a ladder going that way. That's one of the side of the buildings. That's the roof. So, this is really amazing. But keep in mind, folks, it's not a safe thing to do <laughs> to come into a place like this. We evaluated it. The timbers looked really uh, structurally sound for the most part. But best to stay out if you don't know what to do in situations like this. So that's why I'd like to show you guys so then that way you don't have to do it yourself. But we're gonna, there's a whole nother half to this. We're gonna go outside and see if we can maybe get into that one as well. Um, if not, that's all right. But there's a lot more equipment farther up by the actual mine hole that we're gonna go check out. So that'll be fun. That would have been so cool to see this part still standing. But she just took a tumble. So amazing. So now, John and everybody's making their way up there. We're gonna go. We're gonna go up here and check all this out. It'll be pretty cool. Looks like David's making his way up there, and there goes girl. <laughs> Only if it could be that easy, right? There's our mine, at least what's left of it. See, they came up here and reclaimed this area. And so, when they reclaimed it, they took rock and pushed it back up in there so that way nobody could get hurt. Pretty cool, huh? That's pretty amazing. Two rail car, yep, two rails. That one and that one. Yep. And there's a cable. Mm hmm Can we go to that museum today or find that open or something? We could check it out. So this would have been the compressor room is what this would have been. Yeah, this was the air compressor tank, most likely. And then that right there was either the steam engine that was connected to the air compressor. Is there a big piston on that thing? Well, that is the piston. That's the chamber area right there. It's a double cylinder one. 
There's two cylinders. <laughs> you might as well move a building. I mean, it's like it's just. So this, this is a yeah. grinder. So they dump the ore in from the top, and then there was a cylindrical cone in there that was made out of harder steel, and it was lined with harder steel. And this right here was the drive, and it would drive another gear internally and the rock would get ground through that cylindrical cone and drop out through the bottom. This was the main grinder. <laughs> well, I think uh, this is it for this mine. I think we're gonna move up the, up the pass more and go check out more cool stuff. pass you will come right by this location and this location I believe was a town at one point in time but this is probably the older part of this whole mining area because all the buildings are log construction and they're they're really old like everything is log there was no really two by four construction or anything well, I guess there was a little bit but there's there's quite a few buildings in this uh, location and and it's it's just right off the road which is pretty cool makes it really easy to explore and uh, we're not gonna stay here too long just because there's still lots more that we want to do but I just thought I'd show you guys real quick and they're huge. They're huge buildings. Absolutely huge. And who knows what they could be. It's really hard to tell. But they had... <laughs> and there could have been a mine here. That's hard to say. But they had two bathrooms. But they're, it's huge. They're, they are very large buildings. Maybe another kitchen or mess hall. It's hard to say. Really, really cool though. It would have been really cool to see what this place was like when it was all standing and men were coming and going. It'd be pretty impressive. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab a small bite to eat and then we're gonna we're gonna head out. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna try to get to some of the better stuff and show you guys the better stuff. Perfect. We're gonna eat some burritos for snack because food is good. Me and John have decided we're not gonna finish Lulu Pass. We're going up there. We're gonna go up to that mine because. Twice now we have been on this trip and we've looked at something and gone, man, we really want to go check that out. Well, today we're going to go do it. We're going up there and we're going to go check out the, that mine up there because that has the head of a tramway going down to the mine that we just visited. So 
this is gonna be awesome because I wanted to go up there already and we are running a little bit short on time just because we got to get back before it gets too late and so yeah we're gonna go bomb down the road and try to make it up there but like I said this place is just full of so much stuff it's so awesome I'm David's gonna throw some trash in the back of your trash or anything so hang on a second okay Okay, sounds good. So let's head that way and uh, let's see if we can find a mine. today and now it feels like we are on top of the world can you, see all the roof? <laughs> you can this is just absolutely amazing so this was the tramway uh, that we spotted from clear down at the bottom and so I think the shaft is just right up here in this cut and there's a little road that we can just hike up and walk over to look at it and then they probably dropped the ore this is an ore chute right here and then they brought it over you can see rail and stuff right here but this is where the tramway would have gone down over the edge and you can still see the controls for the brakes right there and then you can see the uh the drive still right down there we'll have to walk down and take a look at that and you know that's that's in way rougher shape than that hopper down below so i don't think we'll go in it but we'll see what we can see just from the outside of it but this is just absolutely amazing there's not too many places you can go in the world where you can see 20 miles away mountain peaks maybe even more maybe even more but Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, let's let's walk around and see what we can find. So I don't know if where we parked, there was an adit right there. Um, there very well could have been, and they could have came straight out of the ground, across this with rail, loaded up the cars, and then send them down the hill. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk down here, just a little bit, 
see if we can't look at some of this equipment because there's some stuff down here that is not at the lower location. Wow. So there's the control levers. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's really cool. All right, let's see here. Easy does it. Oh, all right. Easy does it. All right. I'm in. <laughs> wow. I'm in. Oh, here's a hopper to load the cars. Oh. I think the cars would have came around here. Look at the ooh. look at the band brakes. Those are uh, steel bands with wood on them to go around that big pulley. And that was the brakes. Look at that. Oh, that's interesting. That must, that's the, that must have pinched on the cable or something. Look at that. That's, that's interesting. Yeah, that must have pinched on the cable. Or it was part of the lock and lock mechanism. I'm not for sure. That's so cool. All right. Those control levers are right there. So it would operate those two shafts. So I'm pretty sure the car rode on this and then it got filled up right here and then it would get sent. See, yeah, see right here, it would ride on this, turn, ride down and it would go down that metal rail and off it go down over the side. Wow. And then it would pick up on the main cables because there's the main cables right there. So I'm gonna see if I can sneak through there and see what's on the other side. Let's, uh, yeah, let's see if we can do this. All right. Huh, so there's the tensioners down in there. There's cables going down that way. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. So it would, the carts would be running right here. Oh yeah, that is the cable drive. Cause you can see the cable going up to that interesting pulley that looks like it bites it. And uh, these, the, the steel, the steel rail right here, this would be sitting up here and the carts would be riding on that. And then they'd start to dip down and then the, eventually they would transfer over onto the cables and ride the cables down. That's just so cool. <laughs> wow. It truly is amazing how they can engineer this stuff on the side of a bloody mountain for Christ's sake. You know, I mean, it's, it's just amazes me. Oh, okay. So remember those brake levers that I saw? They connect right here. There's one right there, one right there. 
And what that did is it went, they crisscrossed, and then they went over to the brake bands. Yeah. Yeah, these are the brake bands with the wood in there. <laughs> oh, look at that. You can see it. Yep. So right here, the rail was going around, and you can see just just like a chairlift it would make a turn around and then it would make its way back down and you know what this one could have this one this one was probably gravity operated so what that meant was the weight of the carts going downhill would bring the carts coming uphill so they didn't have to worry about any steam engines or anything. It was just all by gravity. That's that's awesome. That is so awesome. Yeah. You see right here, this would grab the cable as it was going in. That was for the drive cable. So cool. <laughs> so cool. Well, I'll get out of here and we'll go see if we can find the at it and uh, take a look at that. We hiked up to the next level where we think that the mining activity is and there is no shaft. They were strip mining everything here. And what's really interesting is we believe that there's still a lot of ore that they were mining left up here. And they were strip mining it because it was so close to the surface. Um, a lot of this stuff right here is called iron ore. And then you've got a little bit of the greens mixed in with that. And that's your coppers. And it was just right, right at the surface of the hill mountainside. So they were blasting it, getting it down to the tram, and then sending it down to the valley to be processed. And then from there, they were sending it down to the smelter. So, it's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. And uh, we wish we could explore a lot more today, but we're kind of running out of time. Since uh, school's back in session, my boys are home in a decent time. But absolutely amazing absolutely amazing so you can see across the way but those peaks right there were the peaks by goose lake so we were on the other side of this ridge right here yesterday so and if we were to continue up lulu pass we'd be going up that way going around this mountain and then coming down Daisy. <laughs> There's more than one person can see in a weekend up here. It is so amazing. So, well, thanks guys. I'm gonna call it an end here. Thanks for coming along on our Cook City adventure. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.